UAP are in our airspace, but they are grossly underreported. These sightings are not rare or isolated, they are routine. Now I'd like to say that the Tic Tac object we engaged in 2004 was far superior to anything that we had on time, have today, or are looking to develop in the next 10 years. Uh, following concerning reports from multiple esteemed and credentialed current and former military and intelligence community individuals that the U.S. government is operating with secrecy above congressional oversight uh, with regards to UAPs. Back in July, do you remember that? I do. My eyes popped wide open. Whistleblower David Grush testified before a House committee that the federal government is operating a UFO crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. It was a stunning public allegation that the Pentagon has denied, although they allowed him to say it. Despite that, Congress is now on the brink of passing legislation that would require the U.S. government to reveal what it knows and does about UFOs. The term now used is UAP, Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena. The Senate Majority Leader co-sponsored a resolution. Uh, it's called the UAP Disclosure Act. So it could be going places. What does it all mean? Here to talk about it is political activist, disclosure advocate, Stephen Bassett, executive director of Paradigm Research Group, which has worked to get the government to disclose UFO information since 1996. Stephen, glad to have you here. Is David Grush's testimony considered authoritative because again my understanding was he'd heard from people who had knowledge of this he hadn't actually seen it himself David Grush was working for the UAP task force his job was to get information he was reported information appropriately by people within unacknowledged special access programs that were working on uh, non-human technology two people he then contacted uh, any a number 20 or more of his uh, contacts that he had developed through years of working in intelligence because that's what his, he, what his job was and, and many of these 20 individuals confirmed the information he got was in fact correct and so yeah it's okay. totally legitimate and let me be quite clear here the United States government has known about the non-human presence and the non-human technology since at least 1947 they're fully aware of it they've invested huge amounts of money in the research and so forth all of this has been done in fully classified settings and the truth of it has been kept from the American people under what I call a truth embargo. That truth embargo is collapsing. One person after another is coming forward and publicly stating there's an extraterrestrial presence. Tim Burchett, Gary Nolan, Nobel Prize winner, astronaut Gordon Mitchell, right? And I can go on and on. And so what is happening now well, is they have put together, I'm sorry, go ahead. Now, I mean, the majority of Americans, when you look at polls, they believe some things out there. I mean, I remember when Bill Clinton took office in all the books, you know, about his presidency, the first thing he wanted to know when he got in there, tell me about the aliens. But it seems like nobody ever knows anything. Would this UAP Disclosure Act do anything? For instance, we have law saying you have to disclose everything about the JFK assassination. We still don't have all that information. I mean, presidents keep saying, no, you don't have to do that. Would this make a difference? The extraterrestrial presence is about 1,000 times more important than the assassination of JFK. I really don't know to what extent that law is being used, don't care. The law that is being passed now is not the UAP Disclosure Act. There was substantial pushback that came from defense contractors that it vehemently had nothing to do with an eminent domain clause. And there are those that want the truth embargo to go on forever that were not happy about the subpoena powers. And so they rewrote the act. It's about one-third the size of the original one. It's not called the UAP Disclosure Act, but it is the fourth tranche of legislation regarding this issue. And all of this is being put together, not so the government can find out what's going on. They already know what's going on. They've known for seven decades. All of this structure that's being put together, including Aero, bringing in NASA, and so forth, is to prepare for the day after the president confirming this formally to us. That is called disclosure with a capital D. And the only thing between us and that right now is that while the House has held a, a, a one-day hearing with David Grush and others, which was a fine hearing put together by right. Tim Burchett, Anna Polina Luna, and Nancy Mace, all heroes, it is the Senate Intel Committee that's leading this. Mark Warner, uh, Marco Rubio, and now uh, Chuck Schumer, so the, the Senate Majority Leader, and there are witnesses, dozens of them, ready to testify before the Senate Intel mm -hmm. Committee right now. And I, I have an activist movement underway to get that hearing in and January. What will they tell them? Those witnesses, they when they testify, will blow the truth embargo wide open. 
tell me, okay, break it here for us, though, because I guess I have seen the videos, and I think a lot of us have open minds, like, these look weird. They're stopping, starting, hovering, disappearing. We get that. We hear this is non-human biology and the whatever that, you know, Grush is saying. But, I mean, I'm sure when you started publishing back in 1996, people said, this guy's a kook. Now people are saying, well, actually, what is going on here? What are you, what are you saying they're hiding? They are... They, they have they've embargoed the fact that we are being gauged by extraterrestrials. They have multiple crashed ET vehicles. They have ET bodies. They have been researching that, tracking them uh, in classified programs. There have been thousands of books written about it. Some of them are right. behind me right now. The evidence is overwhelming. The truth embargo is collapsing. Let me be clear. What you're seeing now is the end of a policy of denying that there is an extraterrestrial presence. That policy is coming to an end. Once the, the intel hearings are held, for witnesses every bit as powerful as Grush and more, the president will be in a position to come forward and end the truth embargo. When he ends the truth okay. embargo and states that we're being engaged by non-human extraterrestrial technology, that is disclosure. It is the most profound event in human history. And let me be clear. Since I've tracked the media on this for 26 years, I have 15,000 articles linked on my website. The media has covered it, but they haven't investigated. The media in this country has gone along with the truth embargo as an institutional policy. Eventually, the media is going to have to explain how they missed the biggest story in history and are still well, you know. kind of out in the woods trying to figure out what's going on. And I've talked you to know. so much media you can't imagine. And they'll have an love answer for that. All we're, I'm telling we're you is what we is want information. is the end Let, of the truth embargo. Let's turn down this, Stephen. Uh, uh, I mean, media, we're snoops. We want the scoop. So I don't think there's some big conspiracy to keep this under wraps. So tell me, oh, there, do there, you think this is going to... Okay, okay. Um, do you think this is going to pass? And if it does, given your interest, you know, for decades, what is the first thing you control left to find in these documents? What, what, what uh, the, the Disclosure Act was set up as it was originally written. It's been changed now. It's been mollified. That's okay. The Disclosure Act was the final piece of the puzzle preparing, preparing for truth, uh, uh, the, uh, the truth embargo to end, for disclosure by the president. The, the UAP Disclosure Act included eminent domain for the non-human technology where the defense contractors wanted nothing to do. It set up a number of review processes giving uh, the highest classification to certain members of Congress as well as a nine-person presidential review, or not presidential, but uh -huh. UAP review board, all right, as well as subpoena powers. It was set up to start the process in which everything that our government has regarding this issue in its secret classified world, which is massive, to start bringing it forward uh -huh. and eventually give it to the public and That's put it in the National Archives. It was the I last see. piece of the puzzle, right, the last and piece now? of the infrastructure, because when the president discloses and the ET presence the day after, the government has got to be ready to rock because it's going to be enormously uh, complicated. As and you say, so ready to rock. About Let's see them telling us. Thank you. I'm so sorry we're running short on time. Stephen Bassett, Executive Director of Paradigm Research Group. I know you've been at this for so long. Thank you for your time. We'll be watching this, and if it happens, hey, please come back. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.